Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bloodborne walkthrough lore through series. This is episode 5. We're here in the Hunter stream. And we're going to Old Yarno. We want to prepare for this because this is going to be a little bit of a tricky area. It's a fun area, but it's a little frustrating. So hopefully we can do this correctly. We shall see. We shall see. It's a really, really cool area with some really interesting lore and uh, interesting NPC right off the bat. You'll hear his voice as soon as uh, we enter the city. Of First, we want to put some pungent blood cocktails on. Get our torch out. We're gonna be fighting beasts that are weak to fire. You there! You there! Hunter! Hunter! Didn't you see the warning? Turn back at once. Old Yarnum, burned and abandoned by men, is now home only to beasts. They are of no harm to those of us. Turn back! For the hunter will face the hunt. Sorry, we cannot do that. Come over here. Get six blood vials. Very nice. These guys are afraid of fire. Go back away once they initially attack you. Now the ones with the hoods that we encountered in the last episode. Look how you Oh, look how he's backing up, see? Gives you a momentary, uh... Momentary advantage. But now this guy... He can carry these guys. They're not afraid of the torch. That, some of that cold blood do. Now this part is really rough. I'm gonna attempt this. I, I sometimes I fail at this, but we're gonna run past and follow this path because this guy's gonna be shooting at us from up there. Get ready. Do haul ass here. Adapt Holy crap, it worked. I wanted to land on there so I didn't take as much fall damage, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. This is a really bad ambush here. So what we're gonna do is... Use the pungent blood cocktail. Some of that. Care of them there. Use all of our cocktails, but Relatively unscathed, we came. There's a nasty encounter that you can uh, bait him with the pungent, uh, pungent blood cocktail, get him with some all tobs, and you can bait him out there too, beat him one by one. It's probably the best. I've uh, got a tempering blood ge uh, blood gemstone. Best attempt I've ever made at that. Actually, it was relatively clean. So it is a little hard. There's more up here, so be careful. I don't want to screw this up. 
We are Lorne out here. The red moon hangs low. The beasts rule the streets. Are we left no other choice than to burn it all to cinders? And the charred hunters go. This is super cool. I love this. See a couple of guys out there. Product of the scourge of the beast once plagued old Yarnum, culminated in the town's fiery cleansing. Cape's dampness makes it resistant to fire. Wares of the satire hunted down victims of the scourge who survived the raging flames and stench of a single blood. This part, don't worry about the items. We're going to get them at a later time. Um, we've got to run past this. There's a hunter there. We're going to come in here. Wait in here. Go back. He'll go back. Oh, you fall. Gonna go up this ladder. He's gonna path over there. Not gonna worry about him right now. Deal with him later. The items later. Up here is going to be where that guy who talked to us, that hunter, and shot at us. Don't go up there yet. We need him alive for now. We'll get to him later. See, despicable madman, but firearm is effective. Drop down here. That guy's waiting to ambush you. We'll be back up here. Get these items. repeating pistol on. Alright, now we're cooking. Let's go all the way up. We're gonna do this this way. The antidote. Put the antidote on because uh, it's getting to a point where we may be, be poisoned by it. Have your tor torch out. Light them one by one. Keep your pungent blood cocktail on handy. Saw cleaver is so great because of the extra bonus damage it does to beasts. There's this guy. Should be the last one. Let's see.
couple more down there. Be prepared. We get a madman's law. Now we've taken care of this area and we can grab this. Ritual blood. Now that is a material used in a holy child's ritual. One of the basic ingredients used to satiate a holy chalice in this incoagulable blood when all melted in blood is all is reborn. Let's before we move on back. Try to get the items. I really hope I don't screw this up. what I'm going to need to do. <laughs> I hope I can do it. Get up there. And do it. Now that the area is safe, because now we can try and get all the items up here. And it's going to be really hard to get one item, because I suck at jumping, and I never get it. But maybe if I'm recording, I'll get some luck. It's gonna be tough to get. Walk slowly. Bad man's knowledge. I see so much blood stains. Walk this right here. You can walk down safely. With this. With the cocktail. And then we've got to make our way and jump across that to get that. Let's give that a shot. I swear I pressed the button. That sucks. Ugh. Oh, that's rough. That's exactly what I did. Because that's what you're going to need. Get the running HUD start. i try it one more time. I really need to get it. I need to pressure myself to get this and not buckle under pressure. I swear it's so hard. It's so hard to do. I hate the platforming in uh, from soft games. I really do. I really hate it. I'm probably going to spend the next 15 minutes trying to get it, but it's just another messenger ribbon. You know. And, uh... Heal up. Ah. 
Oh, got it. Yes, second try. Not bad. Bloody messenger. Thick, pungent red drawn from the organs of some unfortunate... Oh, that's the other one. Here it is. Accessory adored by naive messengers um, imitating the bandages of scourge victims, unaware of their meaning. Splatters of blood give particularly nice touch. The inhabitants of the stump appear to have an interest in adornment. Why not let them be happy and revel, revel as babies? Remember, I... <laughs> nice note. Um, you can actually cut that and it'll drop that and fire will spread across and deal with a lot of uh, the enemies. But we didn't do that. We took care of that the way we wanted to take care of that. So let's keep this on. This way. How are you not dead? That can be a nasty ambush. Get two more bloodstone shards. I may have not picked up a weapon that I need to pick up. Oh no! I might need to go back in that, uh... Well, I'll un unlock the... I did. I didn't get the rifle spear. Well, let me unlock the shortcut. And let's try to go get that, uh, rifle spear. Because I really do need that weapon. <laughs> this is nice, though, because this... We're gonna use this. This ends up by where the, uh, we're gonna need to come back here, actually. You can see there's the ladder. Uh, and go get the rifle spear, because I forgot it. I think it's in that secret area that we're in. Pretty sure it is. Um, and that's a great weapon. We're gonna get that soon. Back, but here, there's a bunch of beasts. This way. They hit you, just take care of them. See the incense burning. Punch of blood cocktail to tell you, a. Can't open this yet. This is gonna be another door, secret area. We'll get the bloodstone shard. Does not open from this side. even though 
I messed that up. But see how powerful this uh, pungent blood cocktails can be. Once we do this shortcut, I can, if I die, trying to get the... That's going to come. So another beast is going to come out of there. So be ready. Gonna bust through that door. Two charged R2s should take care of it, though. Go here. Bloodstone. Very nice. Down here, we'll keep going up. This is going to be our shortcut. The boss. Just can't die here. I'm going to go in here. Go this way. Don't be fooled. Always a trap. Two more bloodstone shards. This is nice because we'll be able to upgrade the rifle spear. I didn't screw up and not get it. So this is where we were. Now we've got the shortcut. Now if we die, we can just come back down here. Go up here. Get fire paper, which is super OP. Love putting fire paper on the saw cleaver. But, uh... Now we kind of don't have to worry if we die. We lose our blood echoes, that's going to suck, but... Um, won't be too bad. Move on this way. There's going to be an enemy. Beast blood pellet. Large medicinal pellets supposedly formed on coagulated beast blood. Banned by the healing church due to its unclear origins, grants a spurt of beasthood. Ripping apart the flesh as one's enemies being rained upon by their splattering blood invigorates one's sense of beasthood, feeding strength and or feeling alike. Scary. And Quicksilver bullets here. Really nice. Oh. I'm sure that way's the boss. But since I messed up, that's the bolt hunter's mark. Since I messed up, big time. And, uh, completely forgot the rifle spear. I believe the rifle spear is in that house. Um, I gotta go back and get it. Because I need that thing. That's an awesome weapon. Love to have it as a secondary weapon. Because it is... Whew, boy, it is fantastic in certain encounters. And this just loops the ground. I believe... Oh, no. I went back there. You get these two. More beast pellet. Okay, that guy's waiting to ambush you there, too. So, be careful. <laughs> Got extremely lucky. Okay. 
let's head back. Can't believe I'm gonna have to go all that again. That hunter might kill me. He legit might kill me. Well, let's uh Full health. So. I'm definitely going to die here. Or you can do what I did and just backtrack. <laughs> oh, this is going to be rough. But we got to draw him in. I don't know how the heck I'm going to...
I'm gonna have to do the old... Ugh. Now I don't understand where I am. Because... Where did I come from? You know? Went up that ladder. Came from there. Okay. It's okay, I wanted to die because I screwed. There's no way around it. I'm gonna have to die. Because I couldn't jump in there. But 14,000 blood echoes, that's gonna suck. But I think I can get him back and, uh. You know. Well, hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I can get him back. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. But that way I can leave, go to the boss. Hopefully we wouldn't do that in this episode, but... I can't believe I messed up and didn't get the rifle spear. I went in this... That was, and that's our first death! Wow! I should have just bold hunter marked out of there. Truth be told. All that hard work I did. To sacrifice myself like that was kind of stupid. What a terrible first death, too. And 14,000 blood echoes gone. Wow. Wow, I did not land on that. And 14,000 blood echoes are finite. If you can't tell by my, uh, reflection. <laughs> I'm really ticked. I'm really ticked, man. Oh, dude. And it's an important weapon. That's what sucks, man. That is what sucks. Uh, but I got all the items in the level, I think, or in the area. You wanna mess with me? You guys come out here.
Now, where did I forget it? That's the question. Is it right here? It is right there. 14,000 blood echoes for that. This will be a little longer one because I do want to beat the boss in this episode. Fourteen thousand blood echo. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Ugh. I will upgrade the rifle spear regardless, because I do want to use it, eventually. Uh. So I'm gonna need nine blood, uh, yeah, nine blood tension. I think I need one more point. Fourteen thousand. Oh, that stings, man. I know I'm gonna make it up. I know I'm gonna make it up. I know I'm gonna make it up. But it's it hurts, you know. It hurts every time you do it. It hurts every time you lose it. And on um, just you know, forgetting an item. You're right there. You you. I don't think I would have died to the next boss. Um, but you never know. Uh. It's really unfortunate. Two deaths which are unnecessary. Um, I thought I could get back into the secret area and get that, but not, so. Uh, LV. Yeah. But now we can take this shortcut now. Boss. Glad we. Do right here. And I think I'm just gonna run for the boss um, and get the old hunter summon. Help me out. which is great because we do want that. Uh. Right here. You can summon him for help if you're having trouble with the boss. Ringing the old hunter bell. some. Hiding enemies here. Alright, Kirk Hammer bro. Let's chill on that. Cold blood do. Get fire paper on. Get our antidote up because it causes poison. Let's beat this chump.
Blood Star Beast. He's fast, so. It's actually Alfred that's helping me in this fight. Thank you so much, Alfred. Jolly cooperation. Indeed. 7,000. Ugh. Not the 14,000 that I had. <laughs> but now that we, uh... <laughs> beat the boss. See, I wouldn't have even died. That was just two unnecessary deaths. Jeez. Our blood tin job. Farewell, That's okay. Good hunter. We'll make it in the chalice. May you find your worth. This is where you conduct the chalice ritual. Actually, right here. Use the ritual to create a chalice dungeon with the chalice ritual or search chalice created by hunters in the underworld. Chalice ritual. So we're going to use the ritual blood that we got and conduct the ritual. Ritual is finished and the chalice rests upon the altar. You may now explore the dungeon. On next episode, we are going into our first chalice dungeon. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.